Before sharing with you our life in Vietnam, I think it is useful that we share with you our experience with 20 years of living in Brussels concerning food. While I show you here St. Catherine, which is the area I'm mostly attached to, I will anticipate we will have a tour all around, we will have some special guest, the Queen of Europe, Ursula von der Leyen, and the Empress, Angela Merkel. Stay tuned to understand how they fit in. The elegant eating in a Belgian restaurant. It's, you're enjoying it, it's all over your face. <laughs> This is Carbon, our favorite Chinese restaurant in Brussels. Very authentic flavors. This is a one hour starter, a favorite chicken dish from Carbon. Yeah, but check the size of the starter. Compared to your hand, it's very small. It don't it's land it on the floor. <laughs> Compared to your hand, it's small. I should hold it. <laughs> This is the spicy fish. Look at the size. It's giant. Okay, your hand. <laughs> Are you in the Marol area and you feel like having a salad for lunch? This is a place to go to. The salads are very big. There is a lot of potatoes below, so it's not so light as you might imagine. This is so good. This is detente, gourmand and chef. Are you sure the video is on? <laughs> yes, the video is on. Probably our favorite Sunday lunch from a region little known in Italy except that they shot the last James Bond where he's not supposed to die but he dies. Alternatively, on Sunday, we would sometimes come to this uh, branch in the inside hotel in Digo. The place is called Serra. The buffet is not bad. Sometimes there's a DJ playing music and uh, it's kind of fun. The buffet formula. This is the savory. The coffee corner and the sweets. Behind us there is Tami, it's a Jordanian uh, buffet where we come very often on uh, Sundays. We strongly suggest it, it's really freshly, heartily made food by the mama inside and the two daughters yeah. uh, are uh, doing the service, although it's a buffet, so it's mostly <laughs> some service. Appetizers. A bit cold dish. A lot of goodies. I cannot wait. I'm drooling already. <laughs> Let's show the dessert as well. Wow. That's so awesome. And, and that who's holly? behind all this? <laughs> Thanks to the mama. <laughs> yeah, the magic sisters that will take care of you when you come to eat here. Of course, the biggest magic yeah. is the mouth. Exactly. <laughs> then you need that kindness. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the town hall of Saint Gilles, which is one of the towns composing Brussels. Looks like we are in Feng Tan Bai Lu Gong Feng yeah, Tan Palace. It looks like a royal palace. So what are we gonna eat? Uh, apparently some mushroom from there. And that was the plate. So now we'll be a Westernary lunch. It took us months to book it this kind of Japanese branch of the grandmother that then became post-grandmother and I did a bomb. Even though we now live in Vietnam, I have to admit that these rolls in Brussels are very good. This is one of our go-to place when we don't have uh, bad ideas <laughs> and they never disappoint as well. We're gonna show in a time. We're ready to eat. <laughs> Let's explain the food. Okay. okay. This is wonton soup with 7 euros. This is one of the rolls. It's the uh, Beijing Ya, the Peking Duck roll. This is the smoked salmon roll. I don't remember the, the price of the roll. 540 euros. Okay. Uh, and this 13 euros, almost 14, is the pork belly with rice and. And then you have all the sauces. Yeah. You can dip with uh, the 
summer roll. Yeah, either you dip them, you put the sauce inside here, you dip, or you just put it on top. Yeah. Can you do some bing bing face? How does it taste? Wow. <laughs> How can we not talk about fries in Brussels? I thought you had lunch <laughs> and we're gonna have dinner. This is a guilty pleasure, afternoon guilty pleasure. Okay, this might be controversial. This French fries place has been opened by a Dutchman. He's a one star Michelin for another restaurant he has. He opened this little chain. The fries are just another level. It's not the Belgian style, they are just divine. You cannot come to Brussels and not eat this. These are the best fries in the world. Memorable day, that was my last day at work, just finished. And you can choose your own sauce, all homemade. Switching to the many excellent Belgian style fries, this Antoine is basically one of the best. All the cafes and bars around it allow you to take your own fries there and buy a drink. Guess who went there? Angela Merkel during a very long uh, British negotiation that was delaying the dinner in the nearby summit. Talking about uh, institutions, this is a piece of history. It's a chicken shop hold, held by an old lady and it's really the way it used to be even 30-40 years ago. It's quite expensive though. This is Place de la Liberté, uh, Freedom Square. It's a very nice square that very little people know about in Brussels and hosts the most famous ice cream in Brussels though, so only those who know this ice cream know the square. Our favorite ice cream place in Brussels. Flavors are you having? No, it's not me. Someone else was sitting here. <laughs> I don't need ice cream. What kind of flavor? I'm having salted butter and waffle. Not tea. My is passion fruit and milk. This is another good quality one, but we found it a bit too sweet for our taste. You're trying chrysanthemum. Basically, it's so cold. It's so cold. <laughs> Where is it? Chrysanthème. Ah, comment on dit ça en français? Chrysanthème. Ah, chrysanthème. Yeah. Chrysanthème. Right? It's the flower that the Chinese use for the eyes, no? Yeah. yeah. When you work a lot to the computer. Yeah. Indeed. In especially in winter time, it's good. Especially in winter time. Yeah. Get some Chinese uh, traditional yeah, medicine. Yeah. How do you call this in Chinese? We call it juhua. Also refers to your bum, especially when it's being taken care of. The explosion will be like this flower. A new cafe in the city center of Brussels. Yeah, they opened recently, and what I like is that they roast the coffee and use it within a few days instead of the coffee of the supermarket, which has been there roasted for months, if not years, and it's completely dead. It's really good, and they even gave us for free this. Uh, little ice cream or uh, hazelnut ice cream. Okay, can you shake it? <laughs> this is gonna be my belly soon. It's gonna be my belly soon. Probably Marcolini is still my favorite, but Vitamer is an institution as well. These are the fattest croissants I've seen in a long time. This is the new shop of Vitamer in Uko. Can you show me with your hands how big they are? Wow. Super light, like uh, Maria will say. There's oh, this air inside. <laughs> they serve Japanese cakes here. And the place is called Kake. In Italian, it means shop. 
What are you having for afternoon tea? Uh, you got black sesame cheesecake, Japanese style. I'm having uh, matcha cheesecake, Japanese style. And then just Americano and espresso. Wow. What a beautiful sunny day. I believe this is the best view of Brussels city center. Uh, you really have a 360 degrees walk in the sky. This is how the birds look like outside. It's ancient ruins of a Brussels in 1200. Wow. In the ground, you can see from the ground. This is the? The Bourse. <laughs> just reopened after restoration. Wow. And there's a rooftop bar as well. Rooftop there? Stock exchange was invented in Belgium. Really? Front of, in front of the Bourse family in Bruges. <gasps> the Bourse family house in Bruges. Wow, I feel so proud. And here's a rooftop on top of the Bourse, from which you can see the other rooftop that we just showed you. French National Day, La Prise de la Bastille. <laughs> we celebrate the French Revolution. <laughs> Plenty of this kind of uh, receptions in Brussels. This is one of the best. And this is Ursula. Equally important is this queen of the kitchen, Isabelle Arpin. She never let us down over the three, four dinners we had cooked by her, including a standing one on a, a birthday. This was the last weekend that she was open because she changed business. Welcome to my curse, spare ribs, all you can eat. What is the cow has to do with this? Uh, it's a rape restaurant, but I think it's a pork rape actually. Okay. Or maybe it's cow, since okay. we always mixed up the two. <laughs> We've been eating this for eight years and we don't know which animal it is. <laughs> it's good. Unlimited ribs. Unlimited ribs. You can get as many as you want. You can get only twice the potato. And little secret, you can ask the curry sauce on the side. Also my favorite curry together. And look at the place, full of books as if anyone is reading. What do you think of this Belgian institution? of traditional food. Look amazing, I'm gonna eat here every single day. Are you trying to make sure or make love? <laughs> Mussels, fries, creek. You're becoming Belgian. I think it's forever. I had uh, probably a kilos of uh, um, mousse. Uh, and I was, I was surprised by the quality of the French fries. I mean, really, really good. They were really outstanding. Wow, is it true that uh, you have some shortcut for paella? Oh yeah. <laughs> Even better than restaurant? Oh, it's better than many of the restaurants where we have paella. It's Picard frozen paella. Wow. It's already good as is. <laughs> but then if you add some olive oil, garlic, anchovies, a bit of spices before and then you do it, it's even better. Would you say it's better than many of what we have tried in Valencia? Uh, I'm, I'm we have tried anywhere, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid so. 
One of the things we do in Brussels is to enslave our visitors to cook for us because our cooking is a bit boring, isn't it? We always eat the same five things. <laughs> and this is a dumplings, homemade, handmade, one by one. The, you Please need laugh. Tell me, tell me, Junji. You need the crazy patience of Junji to do this, don't you? For what? Tell me what. What do you want to know? Yeah, that thing to make. To make uh, dumplings homemade one by one. What inspires you? Why, why are you doing this for us? Because I love you. You two are adorable, okay? Oh, it's yeah. a privilege. It's a very American way of seeing us. Do you actually mean it? I prefer to believe it, even though it's fake. Okay. <laughs> So you cook them in water and hot water and then you add cold water to make them float. Huh? Three times and then around let's say 15 and 15 minutes and then have a try before Three, you you, you, you do what? Three times? Add cold water and to cook until it's boiling, boiling and then yeah. It's very complicated though. Ready to eat? Yes. Ready to attack the dumplings. Good, good, good. <laughs> Where are we going? Pretend you were having a nightlife? We're not going anywhere in particular. We just like to take bus 33 because it's electric and it has air conditioning. Yeah, it's basically a tourist bus for our visitor from San Francisco. Now we have a party and drinks. <laughs> Somebody is yawning. I thought you had nap a little earlier. Me? Yeah, I was not yawning. You did. I was not yawning. Yeah.